Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign with another very difficult mission. The last one actually was quite difficult, but we were lucky in a sense that Yellow Alert was pushing the enemies into us one at a time so we could continuously yeah, uh, feed them to the meat grinder. And once we were done, we could effectively even win the mission. So not sure if we're as uh, lucky again. Today we need to sabotage a transmitter that by definition is a bit more difficult task. We got rift keepers here and a couple of losts, which will make that whole ordeal quite difficult. So one of uh, the things that I would want to do is get a reaper with us. That should at least help us to get the transmitter down because we could uh, simply move there and uh, shut the transmitter down. And I do have another idea. Whilst we are at it, let's send the Reaper the bio vest for various reasons, mainly for survivability. I don't want to lose Bob if he gets revealed. So Bob is the only kind of high level character. The rest is a pretty uh, mixed team. Robin and Inappropriate Murphy are leading uh, the team. Endos makes his return. He's kind of in and out of uh, the missions and is just trying to get his chrono rank, really. Uh, we got El Slicinator attacks here. Uh, all of the bond mates of these guys are currently tired or missing, so really we're missing a lot of the bonds. And then Shadow will help them to find the transmitter. I don't know how to deal with the Rift Keepers yet, uh, but we will find out. And hopefully the flashbangs will be successful. I took one flashbang with me that should not trigger any loss. So let's see how that works. And we finally found our way in here. Gee, it's a huge city map, which is great because guess what? We got a lot of shit to blow up. I will reposition. Shadow begins to move in. And we can already see the losts. Let's just move over here for now. Good, we got a dark fog grenade. Uh, image is missing here, but that is uh, the grenade that does not interfere with the loss of the flashbang. And basically what I would suggest we're doing is we're moving as far ahead as possible. Team is moving in a nice fire line here. Ten four. Good. So far, we're good. We are seeing there is the first um, the first transmitter device is down here. The loss seem to be steady and calm, but we still have Marauders and Rift Keepers with them. And the Rift Keepers by themselves are a problem. As they will summon enemies every single round. And there we go, we just got detected. Great. Okay, we know the Rift Keeper is there, so no point in rushing. We got death from above.
Let's just try to kill some of the lords right away. And we're moving up a bit closer. Great. Roby is taking the front line here. He has implacable and untouchable. Might as well move all the way over here. Good, Ataxia moves up. And the losses are unfortunately ending our turn. Elsewise, we could at this point in the game easily defeat them. Slicinator moves up. And everybody's moving up. Good. Let's try to get all of the losses down. That is not good. good. Didn't work. Not the end of the world. Good. We've lost our concealment. But that's okay, we just need to make sure that we're not uh, pulling the Rift Keeper without the ability to actually engage on him. Good, slowly but surely we are moving forward. I want that full high ground there. Let's see what kind of heck we can get. You know what? I'll take that. Very good. So we got two squad side now. At least for the next two turns. Attacks here. Okay, that boomer needs to die. Good. More loss will be incoming. Oh no. Missed him. But we're wasting a little bit of time here. Need to continue to push forward. One loss left over. And I just want to make sure that our timer is not going to go down too fast. Positioning ourselves very much in the front. Shadow goes back into... Yeah, guess what? The shadows.
All right, the Marauders are here. The Rift Keeper is uh, there. These cordi uh, Cordixes look a bit different than normally. I think they might be one of the advanced Cordixes. Oh, they seem to have a lot of, a lot of overwatches. They're called Ventures. I don't know what exactly that means. Okay, so the Marauders definitely are a problem. If all of them can just grab and pull, then this is going to suck. They seem to be more competent than the normal other factions. Overall, an interesting turn of events, right? Good. Unfortunately, Shadow can't fully reach the enemy. Wow, that is a massive remote start. I wish we can uh, could remote start that up there. Good. It would not kill the Venator. More loss. Apparently it's just one Rift Keeper. But a couple of Venators, so... They also seem dangerous. I am wondering, could we kill him, or try to kill him, or take a better position? I think we should try to interfere. Good, because they had spotted us out, and I would have hated uh, to receive kind of a psionic bomb now. Good. This here should allow us to see the Venator. Okay. Closely moving forward into full cover. Killing that Marauder, I don't want to be pulled up. Good, we got blue screen rounds, which are uh, likely the best choice at, uh, that we could have gotten here.
Dang it. He's he's just behind uh, that crate and we're not getting him. Oh, they uh, may explode. Well, that sucks. I suppose you can't stand near them. No clue if they do have psionic bombs. We're going to find out, I think. Okay. Whoa, stunned for one round. Oh my god. And apparently they do have some sort of AoE damage as well. So for once, the loss are running just into the enemy, which is grand. That's what I was hoping would happen. Can't really get to that Rift Keeper at the moment. And I think I would much rather like to take a high ground position instead of dealing with all of these slots down there. Good. The Marauders are still fine, but the Lost are a plus codec uh, codices are a problem because they don't hit for much. And they basically duplicate the codices. On the other hand, the codex explosions seem to be triggering the loss. That's really not a smart idea. More losses are coming. Boomers. Have exploded and maybe are drawing closer. Hmm. Right. Ataxia moves up. Slicinator will take the high ground. And inappropriate Murphy as well. Nope, none of that would hit. Could put ourselves over here though, and that should very much hit and kill. Using Shadow to explore, but also to basically deal with these Codex ladies, Venators. Good, no reveal. Fantastic. Endor smooths up. Kill said one lost on the way. Yeah, yeah. 
and almost triggers a new swarm. Good, Rovi's biggest challenge is he doesn't want any of uh, the boomers uh, next to him. Because they would explode. Uh, there you go, the rest is fine. He actually embraces them. Let's get a bit closer. There you go. Good. We still have Marauders, and they might be fighting against oh, uh, one of uh, the remaining Venators. It's a bit of a stalemate, uh, because all of the factions here have a form of reinforcements. Uh, the, Rift, uh, the Rift Keeper can summon uh, new enemies every uh, single turn. With explosions, the the losts are coming back. So, unless we are dealing with the Rift Keeper, this is going to be a problem. Good. Luckily for the lost, uh, the no headshot headshots mod is still active. Well and alive. So their reinforcements are to be taken more serious. And uh, as long as they are spawning boomers and shit is exploding left and right. I am not concerned about their ability to continue here. Good dashers. Well, luckily for the Rift Keeper, the Marauders, the only faction who does not have a, a source of reinforcements, can deal quite well with the loss, but prioritizes the loss over the Marauder himself. And then also positions themselves uh, kind of in between us and the enemies. Okay, so they are starting to shred him. Good, I really wanted to climb up. Disappointing that that didn't work. What's over there? Moving slightly away. We're going to try this other section of climbing up. Yeah, full cycle. It's almost a highway for loss to 
move through. I hate to do that back and forth, but the Venators are a cause for concern. Good, not the best turn. Specifically not with pulling even more enemies. But I needed to move away. One, two, three, four, five. Well, might as well. Okay, face off really works well. And the Venators only have one copy. That Rift Keeper can kill enemies and reanimate them. And why is the Venator again just with us? I can tell you, you cannot cluster up with these guys. It's brutal, man. I think flashbangs at the very beginning might be the way to go against Venators. Unfortunately for us, Roby can only kill so many. Good, it seems so far that the loss are killing the respawns. But as long as uh, the... Oh, he is mind controlled. Never mind. Well, now the losses are gone. Basically, the, the Flamer is, is a hard counter for all of the losses. The Marauders slowly but surely are grinding this guy down. And more losses appear. It is truly a Royal Rumble. I don't even know what is happening at this point. Other than the network separation needs to be stopped. It's a funny stalemate where the Marauders somehow keep the uh, keep the Rift Keeper busy, who then in return uh, tries to spawn more enemies. However, as he's doing that, more and more people are dying. Explosions are happening left and right, and yeah. Well, now we do have the problem here. Moving up. Very much moving up. Placement. 
That is indeed quite delicate. Spawning more loss. Carefully moving up. And now let's get these guys down. Unfortunately, no death from above, so we're running out of ammunition. Inappropriate Murphy actually starts making sure that he is taking less damage. Threat assessment gives us an extra shot. That will give us Overwatch. Okay, cool. I would like to kill that Dasher because he's so close to our Reaper and I don't want the Reaper accidentally revealed. Huh. Worst kind of uh, timing to miss. Just like the Rift Keeper uh, thinks about it, uh, that was indeed the worst timing to miss. Losses are just coming left and right and left and right. And I have a very disjointed uh, situation where we're indeed quite split. Nothing is really working that well. It's an incredibly scrappy mission. Luckily, Bladestorm is somewhat working. Good, Riftkeeper is still well and alive. Good, and funnily enough, we need to deal with the losts now. How is this mission even a thing? Uh, I need to put uh, Roby much more into the front line. That Marauder is incredibly effective with his fi uh, Flaming Burst. But apparently everybody has now decided to team up on the loss. Okay, cool. I'm I'm all good with that. Just double checking that we're not having a boomer here. Lost Dasher, Lost Dasher. Okay, cool. Nice little kill. And another kill. Good. We're blocking that one entrance. And I'm trying to clean up the field a bit. Oh, 
Five points of damage. Can we deal that? Four to five. No. Moving over into a safe spot. Five, seven, four, three. Let's kill the guy with three. The one set the front line, row we can take care of. Good. Slowly but surely we're getting a grip on that whole situation. Messy. Very messy. And I'm not talking about the soccer star. Good. Reloading to optimize our action economy and then we're basically protecting the rest by placing ourselves in the way. Seven hit points, oh boy. Plus reanimation. Well, fantastic. Good. The losts are quite decimated. I would say unless there is another huge explosion, we should be fine for now. Could have also worn a hell weave uh, vest now that I think about. The moment that a loss hits you, it ignites and then it carries the ignition to all of uh, their friends. And since they are critically vulnerable uh, and very much hate being ignited, that would have been a good idea. Okay, so far so good. Now, there aren't that many enemies left over, which means they are soon going to turn and kill that Rift Keeper. Good, thank you. We finally can reload. Good, Roby moves upwards, takes the front line. Is there some more high ground? Well, I would like to get a bit closer to that Rift Keeper. I'm trusting you here. Problem is the Marauder is very much in the way.
Let's hit the Rift Keeper. Oh, we can see it from here. Great. Well, reload it is, and let's just try to shred it. Well, there we go. Reanimated end god plus one action for next turn. And these guys are now being killed by their own friends. How morbid. Good, the cleanser. I, I think he's almost gotten him down. No problem, boss. We're buying ourselves some more time. There we go. Good job. Well, that, that answers my next question. And Shadow is going to explore. Yeah, I can't really kill him immediately. Slicinator moves up. We're reloading. Ataxia moves to here so that we can climb up next turn. Good, that is untouchable and implacable. I tell you what, I think a kill zone is the right play here. We don't want to immediately um, take that uh, that uh, Marauder away because I want the Rift Keeper to come a bit closer and not start summoning right away. And the Rift Keeper does not see us at the beginning of our turn. Unbelievable, just three summonings out of nowhere. Wow, he hits him and slashes him at the same time. <laughs> Dude, we just had a good turn going for us. Mind control. What? What? I am taking damage. So just to recap, that guy summoned. And essentially the entire enemy force appeared.
Then, although we were in full cover, three of them could immediately egg. And not only did they egg, but they also started to just wiggle us down. We almost lost one, who's currently bleeding out. God knows if he will make it. Good, I need the revival protocol, elsewise this turn here is over. And he's also burning on top of it. That is just fantastic. Good, we'll, we can come to that in a second. For now. What I would like to understand is how tough is that Rift Keeper? Banish. One, two, straight in the eye, uh, three, four, five, six. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Just out of curiosity. No, can't hit the the risk. Oh, I can. Okay, anti nine point. Good. Potentially. Potentially a good call. The X4 charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. I could move to here and get that cyborg down. I need untouchable, so might as well soften up the cyborg with lightning hands. That will make sure. Oh, he has EMP weakness. Interesting. Five to six, what the hell? Reinforced AR, hardened. Okay. Well, reinforce this here in your face. But instead of dealing with the with the summoner, we're now trying to kill the summonings because elsewise they would potentially rip us to pieces. I hope this will inspire the Rift Keeper to take a shot at us. Okay, I'll go. 
Slicinator moves up. And let's mark the Red Keeper. Okay, didn't work out as intended. <laughs> he summoned a ball sack. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> Very good. Another ball sack? No. It's um, one of these hunters. <laughs> the scrotum is the best enemy. It's, it makes the run a little bit a meme, but it is still fun. Good fun. Good, let's stabilize attacks here. I wish we could revival protocol, but I used my revival protocol already. Alright, marking. And this time the Rift Keeper needs to go down 8 points. There we go, that's the kill. You must be kidding me, right? <laughs> Well, I can tell you who is going to be right next to him because of Blade Storm. Damn right. Untouchable, implacable. Might as well position ourselves here. Uh, getting an overwatch here. Ignoring the lost stasher for once. And let's get that zombie down. Now we have two options here. Okay, he also has stasis that absolutely sucks but look at that we finally got him alarum core superior autoloader and alien data cache at least the loot is top-notch his summonings of course do not disappear and i think we just broke the game once again no, we didn't. Cool. His summonings do not uh, disappear. The invasion of uh, the scrotums. What is happening? Why are scrotums uh, spawning? Is that kind of a... Uh, Part a gift. He dies and then summons a, a group of ball six.
Another Lost Swarm appears. By now, I'm actually quite happy about the Lost Swarms because they keep the boss eggs back there ha um, happy and, and engaged. And who knows, maybe they are even going to win. Currently, the enemies are already taking a bit of damage. That's good. Sack. Damn it. One, two. Nine points of damage, that's a bit too much. So what are we dealing with? 12? No. 9? No. 9? No. 7? I think we can do that. Safe kill. Death from above. And to another pretty solid kill. Well, it's not a kill, it's an injury. In. Ignoring the loss. And instead going for the ball sex. Wait, if I could attack this guy. What's over there? Moving. Fifty fifty, that's not good enough. Good, untouchable and um, placable. Roby moves closer to the salad or ball sack, as they are known. Very good, so one more down. Got a shield bearer there. That guy missed his acid spit and will now be surrounded and <laughs> kicked in the nuts. The collector is trying to, I'm having too much fun with the salads. Specifically, I'm just realizing that they're spitting a green slimy substance. It, no one can uh, can uh, tell me that the designer of this mod wouldn't have known the implications when he designed flying ball sack aliens. And sure, maybe that is a life form. Who knows? They are known to be reduced to the maximum. Only the important things. But their weight uh, is quite heavy on them. That's why they have that little lifter. Oh, wow. That's nice. The flesh is a machine. I'm a baby big time. 
Good, as you can see, we're being slowly but surely corrupted in our position here. Can't keep that forever. Very nice. So, first of all, we're reloading. Secondly, let's aim for this guy. Very nice. Inappropriate, Murphy. Let's just move in for now. Okay, cool. So the mother of all ball sex is gone. Now, key question. We're charging in. That should actually work well. Trying to make sure that we're not Flanked. Mainly that. And whilst we're on that subject, I mean, we could move to here. But we could also simply move to the other side. Far enough away. Good. Taxi is still lying down there. Yeah, Poison Cloud won't help you against the Lost Dude. Okay, I'm hoping that they would move to Roby and just try to surround him. Because his Bladestorm is a nice counter against them. How is that ball six still alive? Still up. Heavy fire in this zone. They almost got the Vanguard. Cool. Now, this guy catches fire, runs away, and triggers yet another blade storm. Fantastic. Good. Let's hit him. And now this is our second counter against the Lost. Just face off. Enders has a good position. And finally face off does something against them. Imagine normally you can just use the sidearm. But without the Lost Headshot mod, I think that's a great addition for the Lost. Uh, you, you need to know how to play against them, of course, but if they start getting boring, it is a mod that hasn't dis uh, disappointed so far. Good. 
We've freshly reloaded. Everybody is dead or near dead. Roby moves up and Roby has pulled his weight a lot during this mission. Just fantastic combination with moving in, moving out, moving in, moving out and Bladestorm plus Untouchable. Great against all of the enemies that we've seen. It's interesting that this guy is still alive. Some say he must have balls of steel. I'm pretty sure they've almost killed everybody now. Reloading into moving up. Reaper helps out. Fast movement. Slicing Ada moves as well. And inappropriate Murphy actually takes the position here. I think that was a good one. Good reload. I'm happy that Ataxia actually made it. On the other hand, I know that many viewers liked the uh, the squad mates die, but really, when they are down and they are bleeding out, it from a uh, from a difficulty perspective, it is pretty much as you're kidding me. This is not real. Why? Where are the reinforcements coming from? This is completely nuts. How and why? Good, so... The aliens on that side are killed. They are gone. Moving into high ground, just so that Slicinator has a better chance of hitting. That's a zombie. We're not dealing with them. This is our target. Codex for 13. Full cover for inappropriate Murphy. And let's get the Codex down. Could hit that. Oh, that Elite Shield Bearer. But we need to kill the scrotum. Aim for the nuts is what uh, their battle mentor told them.
Moving down. I am expecting a good old shotgun to the face. Fantastic. That was good. Well done. And this is somewhat more fair if they spawn but can't immediately act. My biggest problem uh, with the Rift Keeper is that one mod which I installed that effectively lets them immediately act and as they were called as reinforcements. This is just over the top. All right, Roby charges in. Good, he is untouchable and he has a lot of blade storms. Good. Time to kill <clears throat> every single one of them and hopefully the mission is then over. Boy oh boy is this just a continuous spawn over spawn over spawn. Okay, we're reloading. Who knows what it is good for. Good. Those loss must be certainly the last ones and then we're hopefully done. If any one of you understands exactly why the Rift Keeper continues to spawn or why there are reinforcements that look like the Rift Keeper was spawning them, maybe that's an independent trigger and just happened to look like the rift keeper and please let me know because i am not fully understanding it But we're blocking the entrance ways in the hopes of getting the losses down. I'm telling you guys the no headshot mod is actually a very viable way of making them more difficult. Because you simply can't just chew through them not caring at all about them oh the car burns 
I sense a problem. Good, no, the only thing that we need to do is stand in the middle of all of them and just wait. These are supposedly the last three lost. So unless we're seeing a lot of misses or another summoning, we should be fine. But that's easily a mission. Oh no. Oh no. Don't do loud explosions, please. So that should be the last guy. Yeah, Comet music stopped. I'm absolutely alone. It's killing time. 127. Holy. Well, it didn't look like a very difficult mission at the beginning, but it certainly was a very difficult mission. Now, we haven't again uh, checked whether or not uh, the flashbang actually works against the Rift Keeper. Look at that. Feared, feared, lightly wounded, medium wound, everybody was wounded. It was a hard mission. Ataxia made it through, thankfully, just barely. And Jacobo finally got his fanfire. He is now Colonel Jacobo. Lysinator got an upgrade. Great. Superior Autoloader, Elarium Core. Couple of vintage posters. I have no idea what exactly they are, uh, what they are used for. Apparently the Lost now have these. And we have a lot of Lost Corpses, so might as well create the Ultrasonic Lure. And we got these Celatids, aka Scrotums. If it was a meme run, I would start researching them uh, first and foremost. And who knows, maybe they really have the best loot, but I somehow have my doubts. So we're not researching them first. Negative trait removal. Good. So. No, thank you. We don't need supplies at the moment. Did you expect that I would be fearful of the news of your discovery? You may be aware of my movements, but it would change nothing. You know what? We can start expanding a bit further so may as well build a radio relay and get into Indonesia live fire training any recruits in the GTS will automatically be trained to the rank of sergeant that would be fantastic and volunteer army is not bad either. Pursue of knowledge, 20% extra boost um, with research. It's actually in our case also a decent bonus. Now the assassin's weapons. Finally, Rashi and the Katana. He's 
findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts. Advent Shield Bearer Autopsy, yes please. Experimental Armor, great. <laughs> the scrotum autopsy is instant. Okay, I'll take it. So, hybrid alien turret tech and hybrid alien sword tech as new researches. Uh, we could use some intel. Uh, let's just see, do we have an Archon? That would be my only re uh, requirement. An Archon kind of has a high requirement at the uh, a high priority at the moment. Elsewise, we can finally start with the research. Do we need uh, the intel? I think yes. For expand, uh, for expansion, it wouldn't be too bad, or just to buy new stuff. Great. So we still got three cores. Powered weapon. I would say we are, we have two war suits, might as well get one wrath suit. And then the rest will be experimental powered weapons. We will have enough income very soon because it's the end of the month and we're getting a solid 500 as a paycheck. So far it's going good, like the two, last two missions actually instilled some sort of hope in me. Uh, equally the Rift Keeper instilled some sort of fear at the same time. Sabotage, I don't want that to happen, but there's only so much we can do. Oh no, Undying Loyalty. Sh shiver my timbers. I would not want that. <coughs> That's a really bad event. So. Contact is made instantly. Great. Research breakthroughs twice as likely to occur. Also good. Experimental uh, mm, ammunition instantly done. Instant collection instant uh, instant new regions instant creation that is good that is good that is fantastic we've already seen it at work you need a couple more good templar uh, resistance orders for instance the one that uh, reduces all of uh, the mind con uh, mind abilities to one turn that would be fantastic Good sabotage. We're again keeping keeping the clock very much in check, and yeah, we could make contact immediately after the relay. Nice. Look at that. Roro Fitzgerald has just entered. Welcome. He definitely looks badass. And how about we're starting with Fortress because that's a pretty badass skill. And Shooter Cassista uh, is with us. Great. Oh, Domination right from the get go. Cool. Not bad. We're reading you. 
One more day until data decryption, which is good. We got some more supplies there. What did we want to do with the money? Oh yeah, I remember. We wanted to build some experimental powered weapons. The worst one right from the get-go. Well, we got the bad ones out of the way. That's how I see it. Now we will hopefully get the good ones. Good. Um, what else do we need? Assorted loot would not be bad. Might as well start with it. Could be some of the new items or some of the stand. I don't think the new items could uh, come from uh, that loot. 131 intel, that is really, really good. Reinforced heavy armor. We must begin to research immediately. That means all heavy armor will immediately get plus one hit point. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report as a good one. As soon as the research is complete. War suits in particular are already good, and with that one, they are even better. So the research breakthrough really seems to work. We got 150 intel, making contact right here. There we go. Got access to a facility. Let's find the stronghold and first of all get the uh, chosen down and then we are ready to also clean up some of the facilities and some of the other factions. The facilities uh, and specifically the alien rulers uh, that would be fun to, to see them because they have been improved quite a bit. Can't really upgrade anyone at the moment. Good. So let's move on. Yeah, okay, well, like market gear has lost, has been lost. That sucks, I know. I'm surprised sabotage plus or uh, plus our um, reduce avatar project missions at the beginning have just worked so well. I mean, look at that. I've I've had to do one facility, I think, and other than that, we are just staying in the game the entire time. Can't believe that the Junal Queen, like there is nothing that we can use her for. We researched her and normally you, uh, one of the mods allows you to see just what uh, they are used for, mind shields and uh, increased psyams, but the Queen just says nothing. I said, how is that a thing? I distinctly remember reading uh, that the queen had unique equipment when uh, when you are researching her, but maybe that's not the juvenile queen, but the actual queen queen. I might be wrong. Negative traits, please remove them, and we're improving the bond. In terms of armory. So prime team, very much is still up here. Endor has now got himself uh, promoted into the colonel rank. We have a few majors, that's still the secondary team, and you can see they uh, 
start to take quite a few wounds in battle. And I think if we had that live fire training, which would let everybody start at sergeant rank, I could hire a couple more, um, a couple more younger uh, recruits and just give them standard gear. And that would be a pretty decent challenge, if not um, nigh impossible at the beginning, but it could make for a fun uh, portion. Whilst we're, safe, uh, whilst we're saving our better equipped and better, um, better experienced soldiers. So, anything else that I'm that we're missing? Wrath suit is good to know that we do have that available. We had some wounded soldiers requiring treatment after that last covert action. For a few days rest, they'll be ready to get back in. Good. Uh, lightly wounded soldiers can be sent into combat. That is, a uh, matter of fact, a really good one. Not the best one, but a good one. So here we would get a high level skirmisher, which I think would be fun. We don't have that yet. More scientists would be helpful. Uh, certainly infiltrate the stronghold would be very helpful and we'll, maybe we should do this here. That of course is always a staple but I think we're fine. Destroy the raiders HQ I would love to do that but let's do the hunter first. Uh, that is quite useless. We already have it. Dodge plus 10, on the other hand, is great. Yeah, that's too good to pass uh, on specifically with nine days. Let's just double check something real quick. Yeah, we have 14 days, so we can do that and then start looking for for the actual um, hunter facility. Good hog bite. And Val Dieu are going on to this mission together. Facility lead is not necessarily needed, but it's okay. The, the 10 dodge, however, are absolutely fantastic. Laboratory facility operation. I appreciate the new lab facilities, Commander. Good. Well, first things first. Let's upgrade it. And that is as if we would have uh, two additional scientists. So we're going with 10. Doesn't help us with the breakthrough research uh, options because that always takes the same amount of 10 days. But it helps us with quite a few other topics. Advanced hair trigger is good. Reduced contact cost is also good because it allows us to make contact with another region for 80 instead of 160. So might as well want to do that right away. Ah, uh, another VIP. I hate VIP missions. Specifically, since you can't extract your team, it's this is again a do or die one. Unknown enemy, Viper, Brute, Elite Collector Drone, Riot Control Mech, Part 2, Enemy Unknown, Gunslinger, Fanatic, Purifier, Hunter Drone, a lot of drones and, and um, a lot of mechanical enemies plus two unknown enemies that's never good you've seen R rift keeper mark 2 
that's kind of the staple of the upper uh, part. Uh, we haven't even seen the uh, the hardcore Praetorian um, sectopods yet. We haven't seen the real um, sectopods. We haven't seen sectopod primes. So many enemies that I could imagine could uh, be specified there as unknown. Although the sectopod prime, by the way, would not uh, has the ability to avoid detection, so he would not be on there. Cool. Well, I think that concludes it pretty much. We do not have any more cores. Nope. Let's hope we find some more. I would like to get more experimental powered weapons, as they tend to be quite good. And other than that, it was a fun mission. Let's jump into the next one. Can't believe that we're still uh, fighting against these endgame enemies and it's working so far without any mimic beacon because we couldn't really build them but it has been working relatively well so far okay from time to time uh, people were shut down but overall okay i can't believe we're still not having a single mimic beacon Reinforced spark frame that is potentially something that we should build Good that way it the spark is not completely useless and we need more alloys and 250 plus 300 so the next 550 would be invested into making the spark somewhat serviceable but then i think it would be okay can't really afford building many of them because we the alarium cores will go into just heavy weapons until we get the prime heavy weapons the uh the blaster and the shred storm cannon but once that is done i think we could uh maybe build a few more a uh, few more sparks and with the ability, the live fire training ability to train um, sergeants here in the guerrilla tactic school, uh, for the first time I see a realistic chance that we have uh, kind of a, a bigger uh, roster for missions where we can put uh, or send expendable resources in. Okay. Well, next mission is going to be another do or die. It uh, is pretty much on the edge. I'm not going to skip missions yet. I will. Uh, I want to keep that option open if it really gets uh, rougher in the future. And also, uh, the last one might not have seemed as uh, difficult. Keep in mind, we can't extract from the uh, from uh, from the uh, VIP missions. So the moment that we're stranded. That means it's almost game over and I need to then either fight until the last person or find a way to cleverly get ourselves um, out to the exit. Anyways, have a good one. See you in two days and goodbye.